What's good, everybody? Tim the Collector here on a Monday evening. I got a really quick one for you. I wasn't going to make a video, but I got some news today that I thought I'd share with everybody. Maybe save you a couple dollars. Um, but first, I want to go through. I got this stack of books here that I uh, finished pressing over the last week. And these are books I'm going to submit to CGC. I was going to go through those real quick. So uh, some of these were pretty tore up. Uh, they came out pretty good. So I've got a couple copies of Alpha Flight. Uh, I'm going to send out. I actually have three total ones in the press still right now. Uh, two of them cleaned up really, really nice, so I'm, I'm really happy with them. Uh, Web of Carnage Born, I got a few of those. That's a, a variant Pirillo cover. Uh, the B cover. Uh, the Midtown Comics variant, this and that. And the regular Carnage Web of Venom. So, and, whoop, and I might have to repress that one. Oh, thank you so good. Uh, this one's probably my favorite of all, this variant here, so, uh, to cover swipe, so. A lot of Web of Carnage ones I want to send in. Uh, this Venom one, I overpaid for that variant, I think, first host. Um, the Spider-Man Noir Venom cover, you see, you're probably seeing a trend here with the Venom cover, so I'm trying to get my Venom stuff out of the way. Uh, two copies of Avengers 682. I don't know if I'm going to send them both, and I'm definitely going to send one of them in. Um, that's the cameo, the first cameo, I believe, of Immortal Hulk, not the first full appearance. I don't, I can't find that one. It's around here somewhere. Uh, Miles Morales number one variant. This one I really, really like. Uh, and then this one's the one I think is going to do really well. The end of the Spider Verse one where he's got the, the headphones on and the, the iPod or iPhone. Uh, love this one. I think this one's going to be hot. Or is hot, I should say. Um, Another Venom cover. Love this one. It's real clean. Uh, I picked up a copy of the Savage Sea Hulk. She Hulk, excuse me. I pressed this. It had a. It had some issues. Um, I'm gonna say conservatively. I put it at an eight five now. Maybe a nine. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna say eight five. So I, I'd be surprised. We'll see what it comes back as. Uh, I'll show all these in a future video when, as these books come back. <clears throat> and then a Teen Titans uh, number one. So this one, too, had a lot of issues. It's still got some discoloration and whatnot. So I'm going to say that one maybe 7.5, 7. Five, seven? We'll see. Uh, but the real reason I got on tonight was um, I saw some news that Source Point Publishing or Source, Source Point Press, it option has options for Nora which is um, one of their I'll say horror fair uh, type books it was uh, originally written as prose uh, I do not remember the artist what her name is but um, I want to say it came out in 2016 uh, I saw in a couple places kind of obscure that uh, it had been optioned I jumped on eBay and sure enough the books have gone from three four dollars to twelve fifteen seventeen twenty um, they are still available on SourcePoint's website, so that's weird. Uh, issue one still available. I think four and two are sold out, so maybe the print runs were lower on those, but one is still available at cover price on SourcePoint's website. So jump on there, save yourself some money. I picked up a uh, picked up a few myself, so uh, get them while you can, I guess. And um, like I said, it was optioned, and we all know that option doesn't mean anything until it's actually a done deal. Lots of things get optioned. Uh, but if you're a speculator who likes to turn things, you could probably turn those right now. Or you take a, a chance like I'm going to and you hang on to them for the long run and you see if it pans out into anything. So uh, that's it, folks. All right. Hope you have a good evening. Bye-bye.